Hi, I'm Maria Green and I'm going to show you the grunge spread that I did. Uh, I used a journal that has pretty thin paper, so I glued two together with Mod Podge. And uh, I decided to put an old family picture on the spread. Uh, I haven't done any other plans for it, but uh, I made a photocopy of the picture, black and white. And here I'm tearing out some paperback pages from uh, a book that I actually wrote myself years ago. It's kind of fun to have something that is yours um, on paper to add to the art spread. I like to add text anyways. So what I'm using uh, is going to be all dark colors, but I like to put in uh, some background paper to start. This is an envelope from a birthday card that I received yesterday. Yesterday was my birthday, so it's fun to put up some paper that reminds me of that good time I was having yesterday. The card is a bit thick to put in, but an envelope works really great. I make sure to glue it down really well with Mod Podge so nothing sticks up at the edges. And wipe off any extra glue with tissue. Here are the colors that I mentioned. I'm using black and gray and I'm using a speckling knife. And which is kind of cool, you get a different look than if you put it on with a brush. Of course, it goes everywhere. Here is a like a very light beige. Usually I use very bright colors, so this is very different for me. And I wasn't sure what I'm gonna do. It's a, the idea of making an abstract from nothing. And here I'm adding some black. I'm using a baby wipe. They are uh, easy to use. They don't break and they don't leave lint on the page. And white. Those were basically the four colors I used in this spread. Here I have a number 6B very soft charcoal pen. I've really gotten into using charcoal lately because it is so, I don't know, it's addictive. <laughs> and you can uh, use your fingertip to get all kinds of effects. So I saw a face in on top of this envelope. I 
Adding some more white to make the neck visible. I like to shape the face a little. If you add water to charcoal, it actually um, spreads it out really well. And you get kind of a diffuse effect. More gray to even things out a bit. Face was not very defined, so I kept putting more paint in the face. Just a little blue to the eyes. That blends completely with the charcoal, so it is hard to see. A dash of pink on the lips. Can't really see it. Now she got bags under the eyes, so I did not like that effect. So as with makeup, we can cover it up. I took some white. I like to paint with my fingers actually, but I use a mixture of fingers fingertips and uh, um, tissues or uh, paper towels or or baby wipes. I'm adding some hair. kind of blends in with everything else. A little more detail to the eyes. And some sparkle with a white uh, Faber Castell pit pen. And then the ear was so exaggerated, but I left it that way. I'm always interested to see what uh, kind of shows up. So the word listen, I guess it's a message to myself to listen more. Here I'm using some uh, uh, stairs on uh, permanent ink and a stamp that is you know like a flower, oriental looking. And that helps to tie the two sides together.
I'm just adding a little bit more interest to the page. Some more white paint. Took a ballpoint pen and scratched pretty hard into the paper. And uh, then I rub just a little bit of white over it and uh, the white paint goes partially down into the grooves. Using my pit pen again to draw a white line. And here I'm writing a window to the past. And I had a bit of yellow paint that begged to be on that side. It's like a go with the moment. You never know how it's gonna really end up, but it's, you can't really ruin it. Because it's already grungy. You can enhance parts. And here I decided I wanted to put a bird. Took some black paint and filled in contours. And put some more charcoal around the silhouette. I decided to do a white outline too. I have birds in pretty much every picture. To me they represent freedom and also movement between uh, dimensions. I put a tiny bit of uh, the light beige. Just to break things up a bit. And a little frame here with the charcoal. black dots. I'm pretty much done. And here are a couple of other spreads that I did in this journal. Having fun with grunge.